Hello, welcome back to Data Engineer YouTube channel. In this video, we will basically see what is the lint activity in Azure Data Factory. So let's get started. Before we start, I just need to add a file. So what I'm doing is I'm uploading an Excel file, which I will try to delete via Azure Data Factory. Now, what are the applications of, uh, you know, the delete activity are? So basically sometimes what happens is we have some upstream, we need to, you know, bring some data into the parquet file or, the, or a CSV file or Excel file, whatever it is. You want to bring the data and on a regular basis, you want to bring the data and you want to delete the previous old files. So in this case, delete activity is very beneficial. Whenever you want to, you know, delete any file from the blog storage or somewhere, uh, you know, automatically in an automated way, you can definitely go for delete activity. So let's see in demonstration how basically we can use delete activity. So what I'm doing is I am uploading an Excel file, which I will try to delete via the Azure Data Factory. So I'm uploading a file called employee sample data. So it consists of some employee data, which is a dummy data. Now uh, it is uploading. Till then, what I will do is I'll go back to my Azure Data Factory and I'll show you how we can use the delete activity. First of all, you need to have a link service. So what I will do is I will go to the link service. I already have a Azure Blob Storage One link service. This link service basically connects to my uh, blob storage. If you don't know what is link service, you can see my previous videos. You will get to know like what is actually link service. Now, I also need to have a data set which I want to work on, which I want to delete. So I will go to edit or your or author and from there I will create a new data set. Now, this new data set will consist of schema of that Excel file which I want to delete. So this is my Excel file I have uploaded. So just see the name employee data, you know, sample data dot XLSX. Now, what I will do here is basically I'll go to Azure. I have my blob storage, so I'll select Azure blob storage. I will press on continue. So this uh, file is basically Excel file. If you have Parquet, you can click on Parquet and so on, right? And then we'll click on continue. All right. So basically, once we click on continue, basically when we click on continue, what we need to do is I am giving the data name as Excel data set, DS data set, and I will select my link service, which is Azure blob storage one. Now, I need to tell the file path where actually this file is located. So whenever you are, you know, providing file path, it can be hard coded as well as it can be parameterizable. So if you want to know what is parameterizable, how we can create a dynamic path, you can see my previous video on parameters. Now, what we need to do is I will uh, give a hard coded path of the environment. So this is my Excel file, I will select it. And also I need to select the sheet name. So this Excel consists of only one sheet, which is employed, uh, you know, sample data. I will click on that and I'll press OK. Finally, my data set is created. So uh, once I press OK, so it will do some processing. And finally, your data set will be created. Now we need to create a pipeline for the delete activity. So I'll click on new pipeline. I will just name the pipeline as delete activity pipe you can give any name now i will search for delete activity and this is how it goes you can name it anything i will name it as delete okay you can go to source you need to select which data set you want to you know delete it so which is my excel ds now if you remember in my excel data set i have already provided the path of the excel file so uh, you know it will automatically delete if if i you know execute this now we have something called just see here it is you know file path type is file path is in data set itself you can even add the you know um, file path from here vital file path or prefix or list of files you can explore these options too but the good thing is you can put the you know path in the data set itself now what we can do is even we can log the things so we have log settings so for that also we need to have a link service where you want to log your you know data like whatever activities are happening whatever logging of this pipeline happens where you want to store it so i'm selecting the same link service and i'm selecting the folder name dev because in this uh, container i have a you know folder called dev 
now i will publish everything finally our pipeline is ready so now you can see here the file is present now what i will do is i will debug it or i will execute it and let's see whether the file is deleted from here or not so let's check it out so it's publishing so it will take a bit moment maybe a uh, few seconds all right i guess it happened all right so we are good to debug it so what i am doing is i will click on debug option so once i click on debug option uh, you know it will start debugging so it's taking a bit time because it's loading so let it load all right so publish have happened completely first and now debug uh, debugging will start all right so we can see the uh, status is successful now what we can do is once i go back and you can see there is no file called excel and there are some folders you can see some folders such as here so let it load again uh e all right all right so basically you can see the file is deleted and we have these folders which have our logging data like whatever logs are maintained so these are stored in these folders in the form of files i hope you found the delete activity useful if you like this video do comment out and if you have any questions you can also comment it out thank you